Rated M for Mature. Yeah, it's your boy Klaus here. Arr, arr, yeah. This is Catherine, a um, kind of a different horror game, I guess you could say. It's got a moment of puzzle. Enjoy our really story cool. by taking control of our tormented main character and leading him to freedom. Okay. Ugh, that girl. I, I'm not gonna say anything right now, but I hate that girl to be honest. But let's not get too into that. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Start the story from the beginning. We're gonna get into a new game here. Now, this isn't Resident Evil level good, but among one of my favorite games for the PS3 Xbox 360. It's also available on uh, the Xbox One and PS4, I believe. Short side was surprisingly deep, which we'll get into that actually as we go along. But without further ado, let's get started. Let's play Catherine. Well, sit back and enjoy the strange tale of Catherine. All the world's a stage. All men and women merely players. sky fills with glamour a lovely story <clears throat> awaits you good evening welcome to the golden playhouse your guide for the night is me the midnight venus trisha have you heard about this scary rumor they say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land you die in real life. Tonight's story is Catherine, an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain <laughs> curse has a terrifying week. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He's an earnest and kind man. But one day, we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. On top of that, a torrent of sweet seduction swoops down upon him. Mmm. What a playboy, huh? Will he be able to overcome all the blocks in his life? His outcome, hmm, depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtains. Now enjoy the show, until we meet again. Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of no. it! Were you even listening? Uh... 
Sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. <laughs> Cancel the sheet. One, two, three, get sucked in my sheets. Kore wa genji, so like a dream. Mazaru mix to no corner cream. Tsunagaru shikumi wa hen to hen. Shito to no kanke wa hen to hen. Gain ten to go, musubu ten to ten. Ato wa sensu de kimale ume no ume. Left ka right ka dengo sa you move the brick. Step up, step toy, take a trick. Man, you gotta fight for your chick. Demo b**k mo iru kara deki nai pick. Shigan wa nai ze kyo dai. Kimi ha seba kyo dai. Locked it, idiot. You can't reopen it. The hell is this place? Serious? The bottom of the stage is falling. Use the directional pad to move and climb. Or I can use the circle stick. Like it or not, we are forced to climb it. Where, how the hell we ended up here in the first place, but like I said, if we, if we fall, we die, so we gotta climb up. So basically, yeah, this is our lot. We gotta be climbing this block, climbing these towers, and hope to survive. In doing so, we have to um, press these buttons in order to actually make your path and climb up the tower. You can push or you can push the block. You can pull the block. However, if you're playing on easy, undo your last action, I believe, up to 10 times. So over here, we got these pillows. These are basically your actual lives here. Eat crab nose, um... I could say he's really worth it as it's not a time where I've actually run out of extra lives and got a legit game over. But moving blocks around can still be useful can make things more guess. difficult. First, try So I got it. Here is well not just pushing Paul Box right, and Nelly. You gotta be you gotta think her. Right, I got it. You gotta think carefully important. here. What it's is it? A puzzle horror game. These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. What's that supposed to mean? They connect at the edges. It's even a video game logic. The edges glow bluish. Now, as blocks connect by the edges, you get a very nice edge. Edge. Yeah. It's a very nice way to flip, I gotta say. Although it is kind of weird just to have these boxes suspended in the air. The edges connect? Although, not only is it video game logic, but World. Anything sense. is possible, I guess. Don't think about it. Just use it to your advantage. Just get used. Quickly making stairs is the core of successfully scaling the tower. Use the edges to create stairways. There are mo there are a multitude of techniques that we need to learn in order to um, make a way through here. This and the game's gonna explain right here is that that ringing. Well, I'll let the game explain it. As you near the top. You will hear a bell ringing. The exit is near. Hurry. Anyway, good luck. If we both make it out of here alive, we'll meet again. Hey, hey, wait a sec! Yeah, that bell signals right. the very end of the stage. Right, I got it. 
They're right there. Right, I got it. Those are level up. Enigma coins. That right, is basically our score at each of these um, stages. I can get out through here. They're basically used to gauge our rank at the end of the stage, which we're about to see right here. Escape! You survived! <laughs> the amount of time you have left for the stage is added up to our total points. Congratulations on a perfect climb of the underground cemetery. Now notice the gold prize there. It is a statue of the Midnight Venus, Trisha. It should be noted that there's files in within the game as placeholders. They are actual sheep, and there's one of gold. Pretty interesting, but I kind of like the I like I kind of like the look at this prize a lot better. <laughs> this how to kill that dimension. in today's code review meeting really no no I'm just uh, just a little under the weather no no it's okay I'll be right there yeah um, sorry <sighs> nice boxers Vincent <laughs> Are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> mm. uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like, where you're in danger? No, no, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing in my dreams. Huh? <laughs> well, that sounds like you. And it says a lot. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? How many years? I'm asking you. It's just, my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose. <laughs> That's creepy. And in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. The cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled out. Hey, change it! The Chief match is on! Has said that attempts are being oh, made to two beers over here! here. Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. Feather Adonis usually doesn't resort to 
She says she's not worried about it, though. totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? I mean, what do you think? So? Who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. Are you kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know? Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it be? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I, mean, I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. I mean, you know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides, you're single too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. And what if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Oh. Wait. That Paul? He's dead? Yeah. I, mean, I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah. The mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit! No way! Maybe we'll all wind up dead tomorrow, too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. I agree with Toby here. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> Well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. What? Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream. I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? guys going stick around I don't want to go home just yet so why don't you have Catherine meet you here no I just saw her today besides she'd get mad at me if I told her ah jeez what does she see in this poor fool sorry but I gotta be in early tomorrow don't drink too much okay all right take care Vince see you later Because the, you got mail. Vincent is still using AOL in current year. <laughs> but in all seriousness, though, it's not just or two death. It's been apparently a string of deaths that ex exclusively involves young men. Holy hell, what feminists wouldn't do to get that power? You could even reply to some messages. Be sure to read them when they come. But anyway, let's check our messages. Let's check our inbox. Like I said before, I'm having dinner with some old. Surprising! Most of them are already married, and almost half of them have kids. They're all showing off pictures of their families, and it makes me feel left out. Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone too. Alright. Now, I'm just gonna sit say right now, there is a particular ending that I'm going for. And what I like doing most doesn't exactly fit that ending, but you know what? What? You'll see what I mean here in a little bit, but I like doing this quite a bit. 
Oh, right now. Serious. It's the fifth brain power to continue conversation. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm trying to play. I just have to do that. This is the best thing ever. That, that is just my favorite thing in the entire game, hands down. We've all we've only just started. All right. Certain words and actions change Vincent's inner ideas. A meter will be shown. Vincent's words and actions will affect the story. Remember it. Depending on where the needle is on the um, meter here, that will save up the outcome. So that's definitely something you gotta keep in mind. Hey, how many years have we been together? That marriage, huh? Figured this would happen eventually, but down the bottom left corner of the jobs. screen. I'm gonna give her trouble. That's Vincent's drunk meter. You got me. Spam? Or intoxication level. Congratulations. This will basically be sent to us from the minute Venus herself. Vincent will just brush it off his hands like. I don't, I don't trust this user. Who the hell is a Midnight Venus? And why, why am I sounding like Wanda Vision and trying to talk heads into him then? Almost if it said Vincent Bangor. <laughs> Two different Vincent's Klaus. <laughs> Vincent. <laughs> Let's just check the awards. Underground Cemetery. Hey, they even give us a nice little image. Basically, the, um, the stage torn in two with the prize right in the middle of it. It's, it's real nice. So I should I gotta say. But with that being said, we're gonna end off this first episode here. Next time. I guess we'll see this. See you guys then. Meeting up her parents out of the blue? It's not like her. Ah, it's late.